Minecraft video. And in this video, I'm kind of going to show off um, uh, the title update, which is um, title update uh, 25 now for Xbox One Minecraft. So, yeah, I guess uh, it, it's a little different from most of my uh, uh, update release video thingies because uh, my couple, uh, the last couple ones that I've done were like um, more like in game. This is more uh, because the update's not really. It like it improves the menus and it also improves um, like uh, gameplay as well, which I'm actually gonna create a new series as well. So uh, that'll be based off of this update more. But uh, first, uh, what you may notice is the the menu is different. Uh, but yeah, so um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a new world and uh, we'll just call it nothingness because yeah and. Uh, so basically, uh, we'll call it New World because that's this is just basically the old menu for creating worlds. And then um, what you can do is you go into here, and then you can, um, uh, as normal, select your world size. But then there's something different, which is you can choose a super flat world, and then you can customize it. So here's an old preset that I have, which I'm actually going to get rid of that. So uh, basically what this is, is you can create... a uh, like your own world, so uh, this is, it's like this on the computer, but um, like uh, you can do it on Xbox now, so it's pretty cool. And the menus are a little different, so if you don't know how to use it, it's pretty self-explanatory, but whatever. Uh, so what what you can do basically is uh, you go into um, layers, and to create a layer, you just press A, and it'll create a new layer. So what I'm going to do, this actually comes with a preset one, but what I'm doing is just creating. Uh, a new one from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna create a uh, let's do like a layer of lava, and then after that we can uh, we'll make the height like three. So basically, um, the layer height is like how high the um, that layer is gonna be. So it's gonna be four blocks high of lava, and basically this will, this counts for the whole super flat world. So yeah, and then you click OK, and then after that you can. Um, I'm actually going to add a couple other things, so you just click add layer again uh, by pressing A. And I'm going to make the the top, I'm going to make it, uh, let's do, hmm, what block should I do? I'm going to do, uh, and also you can do TNT as well, which I'm going to do a demonstration of that later because I'm not going to uh, blow the whole world up yet. But uh, let's, let's do some stone, and we're going to make, uh, we'll make that four layers once again, and then we'll add, uh, we'll click OK. Oh, no, okay, and then we can also edit the layers as well, so, but I'm going to add one more layer, which is going to be grass, which I'm actually going to have it, like, we'll do, we'll just do one layer, okay, so, uh, that's basically the biome, uh, now on this screen, but, uh, so these are all the layers over here, these are all set now, so then what we can do is go into biomes, which I'm going to do the... What should I do? I'm going to do the jungle, just because jungles are awesome. And what I'm also going to add is, uh, villages don't work if if it's not um, the plains or the desert. So it only works in plains and desert, because there's only those two deserts. So, um, also, uh, these are also presets, so after you create a super flat world, it'll, it'll like preset to your last changes that you made. But um, I'm going to have abandoned mine shaft, abandoned mine shafts, and uh, uh, what, what I did is uh, this is going to have more like less spaced out so they're gonna be pretty close together and very common um, and this is like a uh, biome specifics and stuff like that which uh, like spacing and everything but I don't worry about that but uh, and then also dungeons and decorations decorations are like uh, um, as you can see the decoration says biomes depend on like torches and um, and stuff like that or like uh, for like bonus chests and everything so I think you only need bonus chests enabled but you can also have like plants and trees and stuff so that's what that adds which I'm pretty sure uh, like then it allows mine shafts so it plays torches and blocks and everything like that so I think that's what that does like I think it I don't know whatever I think it might just spawn in mine shafts anyways if you have it on but yeah so you can also add uh, lakes uh, Lava lakes and just water lakes, which I'm not going to add any of those right now just because I don't want them. And yeah, so that's basically all I need to add. So now what I can do is just press B, and now it's all saved in there. As you can see, it's still in there. So yeah, uh, so what we're going to do 
is a mouse. Uh, I'm also just going to disable autosaves for no reason whatsoever. And you can also just change the settings like normal. So I'm just going to put on host just for no reason whatsoever. And yeah, so we are going to begin. So, um, yeah. And uh, so now what we're going to do is once the world loads up, I'm going to kind of show it off. So basically what it does is it just generates like the world of how you set it in the presets. So it'll look like a normal super flat world like the one that I made, but it'll have lots of trees and stuff and it'll be like a jungle. Um, I'm not sure if it generates hills or not. That's, uh, alright, it doesn't generate hills. Okay. Um, but here we go. It basically makes the whole world a big jungle. And, uh, uh, my presets are set in here, so if you dig down, there's the four layers of stone, and then the four layers of lava, and then bedrock. So, yeah, basically now there's, like, lava underneath the whole world. Uh, which I guess I'm okay with. Uh, but yeah. So, um, I do have a serious plan, though, which is gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be, like, a survival thing. But yeah. So, uh, that's basically, um, the, the presets. And also, there should be, um, some strongholds around. I'm not sure where they're at, though. Oh, there's, there's a mine shaft right there. <laughs> they kind of generate, though, at a certain level, so they don't really go too deep under. Like, that's, that's one problem with them. So they don't really go under the surface unless if it's, like, at their level that they spawn, so... You know, they, they're kind of above the surface in the trees, but it doesn't really matter because, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you still get all the loot spawns and everything. I'm not sure if you turn on the, um, the touch-up mode thingy, if it'll, like, add the minecarts and everything. I don't know, but whatever. So, uh, basically, that's what that, that feature does. So, there's also, um, uh, like, um, like, I think they changed a little bit of the menus a little more with, like, um, like some of the settings for this, but yeah. So uh, that's basically all for this. So now what I'm going to do is just show off a couple extra little presets. So uh, yeah, let's actually see if we can find a stronghold really quick because I'm pretty sure I set those in as well. So um, I think it did three spawns. Oh, yep, there's one right there. All right, cool. <clears throat> but yeah, so here it is and it also spawns in the end as well. So um, yeah. Basically, that's that's pretty much all that um, this update really has to offer. But I am going to show off a couple of presets that I've uh, kind of created. But I'm just going to create some new custom ones and stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to show me also creating them too. So yeah. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit without saving because I don't feel like saving it. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a new world, and it's going to just be that and uh, creative. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn on super flat again and I'm going to uh, delete this layer, delete this layer, and delete that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the bottom to the end because I've done this preset before and it's kind of funny. But then what you do after that is, I'm just going to leave everything on, it doesn't really matter. Um, so now what we need to do is go into layers and we're going to add... Um, a layer of TNT. <laughs> so basically, now what's gonna happen is let's make it of like, uh, let's make it. <laughs> it's gonna be like a huge explosion. Uh, let's turn it up to uh, I don't even know what's gonna do, but 50 layers. All right. Um. So I uh, all right. So we have it set for the end, and I'm gonna turn off. Actually, yeah, I want decorations on because that's gonna add a couple things, which so is gonna make it pretty cool. So, uh, I think that's all I really need. So, um, I guess what I'm going to do now is start the world. It's, it's going to be quite interesting. Um, but yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're actually turn it on offline really quick. And we'll begin. So, basically what it does is it, uh, made <laughs> a stronghold in the ground. Uh, alright. But it makes the whole world TNT, basically. For some reason. Oh, that's just a portal. Um, now time to, oh, there's the dragon. Hey, dragon. So basically, if you turn on the, uh, the decorations, it'll spawn in the dragon and all of its pillars. And the, uh, and this as well, the, um, the portal. So, uh, w what basically, um, it did is also create some dungeons as well, which I added to. So, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. But, I, now time for the part that you probably have all been waiting for, which is to blow the whole world up. I mean, how could it get any better? Let's get a flint and steel. And it should work because I've done it before, but it was a lot thinner layer. I don't know what it's going to do, but I know it does blow up, though. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. 
And if you need to check this out for yourself, um, you just gotta download the update, which is, it's kind of obvious to do because, I mean, yeah. Wow! Look at the Slayer that I've created. Like, I know it'd be this deep, but okay. That, that, I'm fine with that. Um, well, uh, this is a fun way to play the game. I mean, it's just a light TNT blocks on TNT world. I mean, how, how much better could it get? But, yeah. So, basically, um, that's... Yeah, the TNT world. Uh, let's play a couple more just for the fun of it. Alright, um, let, let's see how deep it actually goes. Uh, it didn't even go all the way. But if it's a thinner layer, it seems to go forever, which is kind of funny. But yeah. Oh, alright, there's the bottom. Okay, that wasn't too interesting. Well, it's just gonna keep going down the bottom now. Wow. Alright, well, um, yeah. Hey, it looks like I found it. Whoa, look at this. That's pretty cool. Um, well, yeah, that's... Interesting. I, I would say that's interesting. I'm probably actually going to take back showing you a couple and I'll probably just show you this one, which I've already shown you. So, yeah. Um, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is um, pretty crazy. I'm actually going to keep on blowing up some of this and we'll see what it turns out like. Like, I'm just going to blow up a little bit of the walls. And also, another thing, you have a little news info thingy, is um, I haven't uploaded like a video for like two weeks or something around that because I've actually been on vacation so yeah I never really had time to mention that before uh oh where'd that lava come from oh I know where that's from it's from the portal all right <laughs> well it's gone now oh yeah the ender dragon can come down here all right that's interesting okay um well I guess he can blow stuff up down here as well um well he'll kind of just destroy the blocks but yeah well um so yeah that that's uh a little explanation on why I haven't uploaded any videos lately. And that was just because I was on vacation. So yeah. But I also have another thing planned just to kind of make up for that. It's, it's pretty cool. And it's modded as well. Um, it's it's not a series though. It's just a video. One. Uh, but yeah. But I am going to do a modded series. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Did I actually blow stuff up? No. I didn't. Never mind. Okay. Uh, but yeah. So. What is the Ninja Dragon doing down here? What are you doing? Alright. Whatever. I don't really care now. Um. But yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, it, it's gonna be a pretty cool video, but I'm also having a series planned as well that might be modded, so yeah. And really quickly before I go, I also have a couple extra things to, to show, which is the, um, the stained glass of every color, which, um, as you can see, uh, is right here. They have, um, the planes and the normal blocks, so these are on the computer as well, so yeah most of the other stuff and also there is the book and quill which you can write in as well so yeah and then blah 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 and then booyah and then it's in there and then you can sign it as well and then yeah so uh once you sign it then um then you can basically uh then it's uneditable so you sign and close and then boom <laughs> you got a book that's uh called yg and another thing also there's just um some new colored blocks as well I forgot to mention that later, but there's uh, new fences, different types, and also the doors as well, which I'm actually going to show you these really quick, just because this is more of a brief little fly-through of all of the doors and random stuff, because last update was more prepared, but, you know, whatever. But there we go. So, there's all the... Also, I think there's the gates as well. Yeah, there's the gates. Uh, we'll grab these as well. So, uh, yeah. So, that's basically all this really has to offer. Um... So let's just push that gate as well. All right, there we go. So basically, yeah, that's it. So uh, all the doors are the same as normal doors as well. They're not like iron doors, which is good. So uh, yeah. So um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, um, which I'm probably gonna create that new series that I was talking about too with the um, with the super flat thingy that I'm gonna plan out, and I probably will end up creating it. So yeah, I guess see you guys next time.